What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. You know, I wish I knew who left me this comment, but I wrote down some notes on a comment that someone had made. And the more I thought about it, the more I just couldn't believe that collectively, I don't know that anyone has spoke on this. But I do think more and more frequently, we're seeing Chantal come out and kind of berate the community and say, listen, I'm done. I'm going to other platforms. And I do want to say, I feel like if those other platforms worked, Chantel would not come back to YouTube. If she could take her following over to TikTok, to Twitch, and not deal with, you know, content creators that she has established here, it probably would benefit her to leave. But the fact of the matter is most of her relevancy is here and will continue to be here. And we've seen, thankfully, she isn't just going to be accepted in other platforms without them at least trying their best to make people aware of the things that she's done on our platform. So in the last six months, we've really seen kind of this ramp up of I'm done with YouTube. I'm leaving. I don't need YouTube. All of these things. But she's also done a lot of things collectively. And as I said, I just when seeing them all together was a little taken back. So forgive me to whoever wrote this. I wish I could find the post. And if you write your name and I recall it, I will pin you. I promise. But the thing Chantal has done. Number one was to lose her home and her car, which essentially equated to a lot of her freedom, right? All the trips that we saw her go and take to get food, paneer, driving haphazardly all over the place. You know, when I've had to deal with people getting older in my life, one of the biggest things that they've struggled with is losing their car. Because from a young age, we're programmed to think that the car equates to our freedom, the ability to get up and leave whenever we want, drive wherever we'd like. So in giving that up at a relatively young age, she is in part taking away a good bit of her freedoms. She's also alienated her core following. The VIBs, if you go back to the Holy Trinity, right, that really was, and maybe we didn't realize it at the time, you know, the first step, the first domino of many that would fall. And seeing them leave probably justified to a lot of other people they could leave too. Now, to the point that they left to kind of go follow and maybe support Pete's out of spite, I don't think a lot of people are watching Pete's anymore. I believe he's had to get a job. So with that, you lose kind of a support system that she had online. And then obviously... The loss of the support system, not only with Pete's, but also her pets. Now, you can say that the cats were just props, but the reality is these were fixtures in her life. And not only did she have to see them be taken away, she had to see them be taken away, facilitated through FFG. So you kind of take that one additional layer of you're really blending online, YouTube, all the issues she has with her real life in a way that she'll probably never fully recover from because for all we know, BBJ is going to stay their entire life in the possession of FFG's families. She now also lives in a completely different environment. You know, Chantal never really enjoyed the heat and now she's somewhere where not only she isn't viewed the same, but she also just can't go outside and do the things she used to do. All the things that really made her happy, you know, all the beezing, if you will, we just don't see anymore because it's just not something she's able to do. Yes, she does go out. We've seen the vlogs. We've seen mu amusement parks. We've seen petting zoos. We've seen restaurants. But going back to that original point, you know, the freedom is not there. And it's just not. Now, the next point, maybe some of you are going to be halfway on because I know a lot of people fully haven't bought in yet, but at some degree, she has to be dishonest with us about her living conditions, her marriage, her friend, whatever Sala really is, and honestly, what is going on. You know, what they portray and the way they act seemingly are two relatively different things, right? Sometimes they have absolutely zero chemistry, which is shocking for people that live together. Other times, it almost seems like they're reading a script. Very few times does it feel like they're actually in a working relationship where they can respect each other, communicate each with each other, and kind of know what each other is going to say or do. 
There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of passion. There certainly doesn't seem to be a whole lot of love. It just seems like two people that got thrown together and are just doing what they have to do. I've actually been able to witness co-workers work more efficiently in my life than I see Chantal and Sala. And that kind of leads to the next two points. You know, she has really confined herself into a very, very small area. You know, I know people kind of mocked the size of the kitchen, more so once it got a full-size refrigerator, but, you know, for somebody that used to sit online, and, and honestly, we joke about it, but, you know, project they lived in a villa, you know, had a four-door sedan, despite really not having any need for a four-door car, right? She was always one to have a lot of room, a lot of space, whether it was just because she was cluttered, because of her size, because she just wanted larger things, she doesn't have that anymore. She's essentially combined into four rooms, perhaps, maybe three, depending on whether we count the bathroom as a room, which I'm sure she spends a good amount of her time in. But the space just isn't there, right? The things for her to do just don't seem to be present. And that's kind of what leads me to the last point here is, there has to be constant fighting, right? If nothing else over money, because the money that she would have been making when they started their quote-unquote relationship is far and away not present now. And it's not going to be present, I don't think, ever again. I think she's done too much, she's isolated too many, and so many people are just not willing to look past so many things. You know, if you look back a year ago, I would have never thought this is where we were, ever. I, I know this has been like the craziest story, the craziest arcs, but, you know, I would have thought she would have turned her life around, maybe started to eat better, exercise more, try out new things, maybe vlog with Natter. You know, there's so many things that I think she could have done before she went down this path. And if you think about just where she was and what she was doing in Canada that was pretty much well known for foods. I mean, think about how many times she went out to restaurants with Natter that weren't major chains. You know, and yet here we are with Sala, and yes, we're going to some independent restaurants, but a lot of the time we are going to kind of westernized restaurants. I guess the end of this would be asking, just from the outside, is she really in a different in better situation now than she was before. I don't think that it's different in a better type of way. I think it's different, but in a far worse type of way. Unless the ideology is we were seeing Chantal for a person that she wasn't, right? All the late night eating, all the eats, all the foods, all the trips to the orange julep, all the vlogs with Natter. Unless that really wasn't her, the person that she portrays herself in the life she's created for herself now is far and away different than the person most of us watched for years and years and years. And that must be mentally exhausting to wake up every day and look out at a life that you probably have very little connection to. And if this was just all a business transaction to know that from a financial perspective, you made a very, very poor financial choice because none of the things you've done have actually amounted towards more financial success today than a year ago. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. If you really feel like all of those things are the true reasons behind all the I'm angry all the time, I'm leaving YouTube, and it's everyone else's fault, you know, probably just like Chantal tomorrow, I will be back as soon as I can with more content.